and the Disbane could not pick up. Round number six of our main event, such a meaningful fight. Two undefeated light heavyweights signing on to fight each other. Both guys who are very promising, fast-rising prospects, soon to be contenders for the victor, a launching pad fight that will get him into the ring magazine, top 10 at 175 pounds. Glad to be joined by your Danis to Spain's trainer, Buddy McGurk. Buddy, we just saw what happened in round number two. You've done a good job of settling down to your guys, saying, hey, don't look for the knockout. Don't walk straight in. How do you see this fight right now? Well, you know, he's, he's getting caught up in the crowd. He's trying to knock the guy out, trying to show that he's tough. And, you know, and this kid's a good fighter, so, you know, we got to be sharp. This kid is really sharp. And you know, he's a very good counter puncher. You know, buddy, it's Teddy here. Everybody looked at your fighter, and he looks like Hercules. He's this bigger guy, he's a more physical looking guy. And a lot of guys thought he had to just go in there and land the power shot. From the beginning, I thought the key for your guy was to use the jab. That's all he has to do, Teddy, you know, old school way. He has to keep the double jab. Once he gives the jab, he gets it away. But you know, when he sits outside waiting for the bomb, the guy's catching him lunging in. I agree with you. His fighter, Salah, is a rhythm fighter. He's a guy that likes to get a rhythm going. He's very smooth, but that jab disrupts his rhythm. Yes, and that's, that's the key. You know, I'm telling the right guy, you know, don't try to hit with the right hand from the outside. You're too far out. You know what I mean? So um, if he gets the jab and gets away, then he can let his hands go, Teddy. I agree with you. You want to see him go to the body that's a skinny body. You want to see him start to take that body apart a little bit? I don't tell him to jab to the chest. Don't worry about the head because um, this gentleman leans back. So this jab is chest and body. The head will come eventually. Buddy, thanks for your time. Thank you, guys. Buddy McGurk, those two-time world titles, the long-standing top-level elite trainer. Now working with your Venus to Spain for the first time, third in between rounds. The translation that's being done in the corner is the urgency really kicked in at the end of round number two. But he had to get his point across. Chico Rivas has been working on those cuts and helping with some translation. You know, some young fighters, some fans out there, they might say, well, why would Buddy tell him it's close to the chest? You're not going to hurt him in the chest. It's not about hurting him. It's about getting contact. It's about yes. finding him. Touch him, touch him. You're close to the head, you miss him. You're close to the chest, you'll find him. And then you can find him with something else. I'll tell you, they've done a good job on the cuts, Teddy. Here they are. The blood was streaming down throughout round number three. And they've done a good job of containing things here. Well, three things to deal with those cuts. You have to have the right medicines, the right coagulants. You have to have adrenaline. You have to have aperture. That's the right pattern that you see that's coming out in there. And you have to have pressure. And you have to have a guy who's not a big bleeder. The Spain, not a big bleeder, looks like. Well, that jab actually just hit right on the target of one of those cuts. And now Buddy's got to get back to work. Stay with us. More to come.